Hi, I'm Lasse. Hi, I'm Andreas. This is an experiment called Teachable Machine. It makes it easier for anyone to start exploring how machine learning works, live in the browser, no coding required. Over here is the input, my camera. And here are the three classes, green, purple and orange. And over here is the output. This is where the machine responds to you. Right now it's set to respond with one of these three GIFs. You can change these GIFs to any GIFs you want. First, I'm going to teach the green class to recognize when I put my hand up, like this, and show a cat GIF. I just hold down the green button for a couple of seconds. So now it's training the green class, and there. Now you see that the green bar is up with high confidence, and it's showing the cat GIF. But you'll notice that the green bar is up no matter what I do, if the hand is up or down. That's because the machine is looking at my input and deciding which class it's most similar to. But since I've only trained one class, everything looks most similar to that one. That's why I need to teach it a second class. So now, with my hand down, I'll hold this purple button for a couple of seconds. And it's training the purple class, and there. Now it's working. When I put my hand up, the green class triggers with the cat gif. And when I put my hand down, the purple class triggers with the dog gif. Up, down, up, and down. What if I raise my hand just a little bit? It's kind of confused. The bars are wriggling around because it's not sure. Is it the green class or the purple class? If I raise my right hand instead, you'll see that the machine still recognizes that this is the most similar to the green class. Which is kind of interesting. Let me try to train this orange class with a crazy face, like this. So now when I make that face, it should trigger the last bunny gif. It works! And I can also switch to speech. Now when my hand is up, it says hello. Hello. And when my hand is down, it says awesome. Awesome. And I can change these to anything, like, oh cool. Hello. Oh, cool. The point of all this is to let you start digging into machine learning in a hands-on way. Like sometimes your machine might not work. You can learn a lot by thinking about your examples and try different approaches. You can even try to confuse it on purpose, which can be a really fun way to learn. It's built with a library called deeplearn.js. This lets you train and run machine learning models locally in the browser, which is what makes it respond so fast. And DeepLearn.js works on mobile devices too, so you can try this experiment with the camera on your phone. You can get the code and start teaching your machine at g.co slash teachable machine.